<sighs> Welcome back to On the Branch. Because, I mean, how can we not after that? Okay, cutscene first. Then then, then, then I'm going to... Getting gonna, onto the thing. Yeah, then I'm going to explain something. Oh, no, they're riding away. Oh, no. Oh, that was it. That was the Oh, now thing. we're going to Chinatown. <laughs> we finally made it to Chinatown. Like, we had to go back across the bridge. Stage six, we're there. <laughs> Yay. Yes. Okay, so today's the bit episode. And, Yay. Uh, I, I, I kind of made a call-out post uh, a few weeks ago. Actually, it was only about a week ago, huh? And uh, I said, hey, none of you guys are requesting John Explains Bit episodes, and I'm very sad about this. And you should this. do that. Yeah, and, and I said, you guys should do that. And so our, our boy, uh, what's his name, Amerith? Uh, or her was... name, or their name, because we don't their actually know. Their name was... We assume uh, his... Keep by the... Dion away from me real quick. Okay. Do we want to say the name, or...? Uh, yeah, I assume. Well, it's public on YouTube anyway, so yeah. Lele Melo. Mele. Okay, so that could, be, that could be anything, like, gender-wise, so we'll, we'll say them. Um, and then until they want to correct us. Jamie, eat some fr- some, yeah, good job. Eat some rang. Eat some rang. So yeah, this is the bit episode where you, the audience, in the comments below, ask me to explain something to oh, you. Oh, shit. That's and, not... And I do. And so, yeah, he, our, our, our boy here, or girl, or, uh... Our, our person. Our dude here. Our dude here. Jerry, go get those, uh, that burger. Not yet. Okay, whatever. Yeah, wanted me to ask, uh, explain how... How mashed potatoes were... I, I don't have it in front of me. Were invented. Yeah. How mashed potatoes were invented. And, well, funny story. We asked, like, hey, do you want this to be a serious answer or a silly answer? It's kind of hard to give a serious answer because nobody knows. I mean, it's a simple enough thing, right? It's it's butter, potatoes, maybe add some milk for, and you beat for, the shit out for of flavor. And you just, like... Yeah, like, somebody probably stepped on a potato sometime. But we don't know. The first, uh, the first instance, because I did look this up... I tried, I swear I tried. Uh, the first instance of it ever even being shown was in a recipe book in the 1770s where this lady is just like, yeah, do this. It makes mashed potatoes, you dummy. Yeah, do you know what mashed potatoes <laughs> like, are? It, it seems like people already knew how these worked. Jerry, there's, it was just, there's food over here. Yeah. It just, we, uh, we had to we had to have it, uh, I don't know, formally added to our... Our, our, our recipes. Repertoire. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hypothesize. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess what happened. And I just broke my back flipping that. I'm gonna guess somebody had a sack of potatoes sit around and like they just got smushed for some reason. You know, somebody dropped an anvil. You know, they the they dropped a giant like heavy box. They were on at it? the blacksmith's house. Yeah, they dropped a big old box full of anvils on okay, it. You, yeah, stupid bastard. With oh, the I knife. thought you were talking to me. Uh, yeah. So yeah, some some guy like just just accidentally. Oh, I dropped I dropped my 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 anvil on my mashed potatoes. I'm like, oh, this is all smooshed up. I'm gonna eat this. Hmm, that's pretty good. What if I smush it up some more? What if but I what if put, I put some like butter, butter on it? Butter makes everything, everything better. better. Uh, cherry. Uh, and then yeah, they ate it and they said, holy cow! I am mashed you potatoes. Baked potatoes. You can like Mash smush them. them. Boil them and, and put them in a stew. So 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 sorry, our boy, girl, dude, yeah, um, uh, dog on the internet because on the internet no one knows you're a dog. Exactly. Yeah, I I, I, I did your favorite drug. I, I need but those. But I couldn't I couldn't quite couldn't quite answer you as satisfactorily. Because oh, basically sorry. the internet threw its arms up and said I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> basically nobody knows. I, I mean, it could be they were doing it for a thousand years before someone wrote it down. It could be this lady invented mashed potatoes. For all we know. Yeah. Well, the, the, the world will never know, and that's unfortunate. They've all lost knowledge to humanity. The origin, the, the it's precise like the, it's like origin the, of mashed potatoes. Like the Library of Alexandria. We'll never no, find out. No, see, here's here's how mashed potatoes were really invented. Oh, okay. how were they really invented? I... Enlightenment. What was the year? That, what was the year they were noted in a in a thing? A uh, 1771. Okay, so in 1770, uh, during Christmas, uh, uh, Christina will say Fleming because that sounds funny. Christina Fleming was having frustrations over hosting a holiday dinner with her her in laws. And uh, she got so frustrated that the only recourse she could discover to relieve her her uh, her frustrations was to take mash oh, uh, was to take potatoes I think. um after boiling them and then 
smash her head, her forehead to them on the counter to soften the blow so that she didn't actually receive, like, brain damage or anything, yeah. but that, you know, that she she uh, that. discovered a new culinary thing. And, and rather than, you know, uh, wasting the potatoes, because they were perfectly good potatoes still, she decided that she would serve them to her family, and they loved it so much after adding just a little bit of, of uh, seasoning that she was demanded to make it every year thereafter. Um, and so she wrote it in a cookbook and said, this is how you make mashed potatoes. Of course, she had to change the uh, the way to mash them from using your forehead, because that was her own secret technique. Yeah. Hers were the best mashed potatoes ever recorded in history that were never recorded in history. They came with the most love. Uh, have a burger. But, uh, so, uh, Christina Fleming, uh, you know, she... Oh, we do actually have the name of the woman who wrote it in the cookbook. Like, that's oh. actually in the wikis. I just can't bring it up because we're fighting a boss. <laughs> Cherry, eat a burger. Well, I'm, I, burger. I'm saying her burger name time. is Christina F- Fleming. Oh, do we? Oh. <laughs> Got it just, just in time. time. Wait, who's Justin? I don't know, but uh, he's we're on his time. Wow, that is a long weapon. A spear? Yeah. That is yeah. her social distancing stick. <laughs> yes. It's now John's social distancing All right, now, like, now, now Jamie, good, but there's a problem. You what? were stone cold sober when you gave that explanation. So yeah, you got you got to be on some kind of drug. You're supposed well, to be on the drug. Wait, 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 Jamie, did you have much sugar before we started? Yes, I did. Okay, then that counts. Yeah, you bought freaking Krispy creams today, fake ass fake donuts that are just sugar and air. They're basically cotton candy. I mean, yeah, but they were they're tasty. Special. Yeah, I get it, but we have a donut shop like literally in walking distance that's like really hurting because the lady who runs it as Asian and like people are literally not going to see Coco because Coco is Asian. Like no, go eat some of Coco's donuts, damn it. Coco needs you needs your money. Go go and eat we, all and of her you donuts. Need her donuts. They're they're really good. They're like they're a lot like Get the donuts I grew up with. <laughs> yeah, like I grew up sorry, I grew up in the nineties when co- donuts were made with cake. They were cake donuts. They were thick, they were dense, they had plenty of sugar. The frosting wasn't ridiculous. Is you know is, had a creamy base to it like, freaking like, just just, just make a donut. Everything should make be like when I was again. a kid. Yeah, make do- I have not had a donut as good as a donut from the Friendly Donut Shop. Coco's are close, but she's not as good as them. She probably hers are probably not as bad for you because those donuts. I remember they're like, made with love. They were dense. I remember being a kid and eating two of them, and we were fat kids. So. Oh. You know, whereas these Krispy Kremes, I think I've had half a dozen since you brought them in the house. I've, and I'm hungry. I've restrained myself. I've had three. Yeah. <laughs> Only three, but yeah, I, I know that feeling. It's like, I, I think I've had, like, five. <laughs> Again, they're, like, base, they're, they're basically sugar and air. Cotton candy. You but it's like, yeah, one of them was free because it was, it's, like, the new test flavor or whatever. That I, they've done strawberry, strawberry glaze before. They're They're... Bringing it back as a limited run. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've never seen it. Okay. Because, yeah, like you said, they have, like, oh, the strawberry oh, glaze, so but like, this is like... Those, yep. You get some... Oh, I'm gonna get those rings. Th- this Anyone is... got... Oh, no one has any stars. This is gonna be fun. We're supposed to square off one to one to one. Are we? Is yeah. that how sparring works? Yeah. Except there's more than three now. Well, this is a pretty epic fight, guys! I think we finally got, like, a real cool boss fight. Like, the others would have been cooler. We just were on easy mode. I was thinking between episodes when I went and did the gamer's favorite drug for the for the bit. Like, you know, this game would have been a lot more fun if we had been on e- medium mode. Because it's just a little too easy. And I, we should make the recommendation. Like, unless you're, you know, a real beginner kind of beat-em-up player, you should you should start on... No, no the rings! Yeah, Meredith, why? Well, we didn't know. I didn't see it. Yeah. We didn't know that they, that was the end of the fight. Oh, this looks like a like an epic confrontation is about to go down, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is the boss oh. fight. Oh, oh, that's this guy. He's one of the dudes from, uh, yeah, Shiva. He's a big baddie from the previous ones, and you can get him, unlock him by doing crazy stuff. But like, like maybe winning. we'll do that when we play Streets of Rage 3 in, like, six months. Yeah, you know, and we come back to it. Yeah. Oof, I like that juggle. I don't like that punch in the back of the head. <laughs> okay, come on, Shiva. You think you're you think you think you're the god of destruction? I got big beefy Jack's arms, and I go down like a chump with one uh, flying jump kick from some random guy with a headband on. 
You know, you know who Shiva reminds me of, and actually, it's more. They're probably modeled after archetypes like Shiva. That one character from the the second season of One Punch Man. You know um, what I'm talking about? There's there's a martial arts master guy. I'm trying to think of who you mean. Yeah, um, we'll have to. I mean, I would say let's go back and watch, but let's not because uh, you go season two. Woo! Do you, do you hear uh, Netflix is uh, making bids on a live action? Mm. I'm not excited about this idea. It I think it was be, Netflix. It might Maybe be it was okay. someone else. Ugh, I do not think you can... I don't it think... It might. Ah. You don't think so? I, I, you know, God, I'm always be. willing to be surprised, right? Like, I remember I was one of the guys that said, 3D Zelda, that'll never work. <laughs> so, uh, you know... I'm willing to 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 be to proven wrong. Be optimistic. But my, my gut says my gut says no. If I'm if I'm the you know, if I'm the head of EA and somebody pitches that to me, I'm gonna say, uh no. I said EA. If I'm the head of uh you know Disney Entertainment Whoever, who, who else could I be the head of? Uh, uh Universal. Lettuce. I keep wanting to say Fox, I'm like, they don't exist anymore. <laughs> 20th Century Fox is obsolete. And it's owned by um, Disney now, yeah. Yep. Alright. Get over here and help us fight. Except don't. We should probably we try to only die. have two people fight him at once. There, we finally knocked him in the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he died as he lived. Floating in the, in the air. Next time on the bridge.